One of the unique aspects of soy is it's one of the most productive oil seed crops that, that, that can be grown. Historically, most of our vegetable oil comes from soybeans. There are other oil crops, but many of them tend to be more niche, and it's mostly because of the climates in which they can grow. Lots of different climate and soil conditions allow for the growth of soybeans. It is a resource that we can continually grow year after year after year on the farm. A farmer has to grow a soybean variety. They'll plant the beans, grow them, and then harvest them at the end of the year. They will send those soybeans to what's called a crushing plant. And we take the whole soybean, we shrink it so that we can pop that skin off, that soybean hull. We crack the soybean into quarters, roll it into flakes like you would see in your bowl of cereal. Then we go through a, a series of processes to extract the oil out of that soybean. And the vegetable oil that's extracted from that is then is what's used by fast food joints or the, you know things that are going to be used to make processed foods or even consumed directly by consumers as, as a bottle of vegetable oil. Because we figured out how to separate this oil, now we have applications for it. Primarily its main use is clearly food use. So we fry in it, and that's a huge consumption of it, especially when you talk about fast food places. It's an emulsifier. So it's a very important part of, of our diet. Regular soybean oil, the one downside it has is that to make it last longer in the supermarket, there's some things we have to do to it to make it stable. And as part of that, we get trans fats out of it. Doctors don't always want you to eat a lot of things that have trans fats in them. High oleic then, that's a new type of soybean oil that was developed within the last couple decades. It does not need that change to make it shelf stable. It's already stable enough that it can be used straight up and it basically is a lot healthier for your heart. Farmers have done an amazing job of taking care of the land and producing more and more of the soybean product. There continues to be much opportunity there's a lot more diversity of product coming off that acre than just the oil. We take that soybean from the farmer, and by the time it is done with our process, we have turned that into different products, but we are not losing one small percentage of that soybean. It is all being used in soybean meal, soybean hulls, and soybean oil.